Here's what we're going to do. I want you to focus on this area right there. Market is going to open up at 09 and pretty much slide for a bit after the open. All right. I'm going to take the slider down here and fast forward us through this break. And I want you to, again, watch these colors. Greens mean, as you guys know, longs. The amount of longs entering. Red means the amount of shorts entering. And then the totals are down here, 86, 57. If there's more on the right, longs, than on the left, shorts. This is what we refer to as our laser would be green. All right. Now I want you to watch that. And I want you to see when it turns red. Right there. We go up a little bit. It goes green down. Red up. And that's so far the best bounce from here to here. Not that that's going to be the low, but it's a bounce, right? 96 to 01, five points. And we come back here, and you can see that's when we go back and forth, went green to red. So we rally a little bit into our red PWAP, not coincidentally, right in here. It curls over, uses this red dotted line as resistance, turns back green, we break. Look at all that red come in. Red comes in in here, we bounce a couple points, longs come in. Shorts come in. Wait, let's back this up. Watch this moment. Two things happen here. Let's just play it. Two things happen. Shorts come in. And a sell pulse of 100 contracts, this pink box, gets rejected. Damn price doesn't even go below. Laser goes to red. Not that they were going to rally up to the open, back to the highs of the forever. We're going to go to the forever highs. No, you're not trying to predict that. Stop trying to predict too far out in the future. You're not going to be accurate. You're going to be wrong way before you're right. And the point... Of why I say that is, do you do, do meteorologists care about necessary predicting two weeks out, five days? They're not accurate, but they'll throw that out there. You got to predict this afternoon before you could predict tomorrow. Got to predict the next hour before you could predict this afternoon. With respect to the weather, no different in trading because there's a lot of variables that could change, that you know could change, and therefore you got to be the best at real time. Too many shorts, too many buyers, too many buyers. That's what's need needed for price to go up.